Oh, it's about damn time. Sip. Oh god, that's loud. Kick that down maybe like half. 50% right there. Hey, Capit. How you doing? Is this working properly? <clears throat> uh, I think we already saw, saw that already. Trials of mana. Yeah. You had a rough Sunday night. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. You saved Dado from the Dado, <laughs> Dodo. Random help me make today better for me. That's good. He's a good guy. You have saved data from the demo. Transfer the saved data, of course. So if you didn't watch me play the demo last month, uh, both of those parts are on the stream archive now. That's like a good four hours of gameplay. He is a wonderful dude. So... Uh, okay. Never mind. Like, it just loads game. Uh, remake... Dash settings. So this they added in the patch with the full version. Um, auto. Switch to dash automatically after moving for one second. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like. You're hoping to buy New Horizons this week? That's cool. Uh, weak power jump. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta get used to these controls again. Reset camera both. Control characters. Camera ring. Show, talk, interact. Confirm. Okay. Why is there like a whole page for just copyrights? Look at this. Ridiculous. Uh, Square has like apparently a really weird, like strict rule set if you're gonna stream this from like a gift key. Apparently. Vinny kept mentioning it. I, I thankfully have just bought this, so. Uh, I don't know. I I'll probably have to change these once I'm in the game. I remember my difficulty set to hard, but apparently, uh, Post game, it gets pretty pretty rough. Speaking of, there's post game in this, which there wasn't in the original Seiken Densetsu 3. That's pretty neat. So let's see. Uh, this one's the later one. Three hours, 33 minutes. Both characters level six. Uh, so in the demo, we met both characters. We went to Wendell. We left to get the first spirit. Uh, we fought the boss, got the spirit, and then the beast men threw us down a hole. And that's kind of where the demo ended. If they can get the Sword of Mana, they're wish. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll just uh, skip on right through that. So yeah, you don't get all three party members in the demo. We'll probably get the third one tonight and see their uh, backstory. Also, because I bought the game, uh, like early, like I pre-ordered it, I get an, I get like an accessory that just lets me get more experience up to level ten. So the first few hours of this of this playthrough are probably going to be very quick grinding. A couple minutes. Hey, that's cool. Thanks for stopping by, regardless. Uh, okay, there we go. What do you mean? We're so close. We can do this. I vaguely remember the scene happening in the original version after you hit this point. With my powers. This like flashback. It's a good point for the demo to like stop. Hurry. Oh, we cannot continue either. Please go on without us. Find our hero and save the mana tree. 
How come she can fly farther? Further. Further? It's just her. She's been doing her squats. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to stream this Friday, but uh, Best Buy did not deliver. Uh, they didn't bring it until today, and I'm not upset about it anymore. It was really just one stream that we missed out on, and I can always make it up during this week, because I probably wasn't going to stream every day. So Duran and Angela, or Duran and Angela, uh, were traveling together. And now they're kidnapped, I guess. Wait. Where? Curses! What is this? Let me out now! Still, oh, oh nice popping. Was that Kevin? It's Kev. Someone there? Who are you? Where are we? Kevin. That's me. This is Jad. The prisons. Beastmen grabbed you all at the waterfall. Took you to these cells to keep you out of their way when you woke up. Wait. I can get us out. Don't worry. I know what to do. Leave the guard to me. Is he talking stilted on purpose, or is that just very poor translation? Quit your nice Keep feet. Quiet. Look at that. Look at his left foot when he walks. It's a. It's. It's not the prettiest dream. Well, it's a nice remake, but. You okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't let you out. Ludger's orders, you know? Ah, throwing the future king of Ferolia in prison, hmm? Huh? King finds out. Hey, wait a minute. I had orders. Fine. Ludger's been acting kind of weird lately. I mean, it's, it's probably all the... Look at those bricks on the wall. They're just kind of, like, vibrating. That's weird. You can leave. Just be sure to put in a good word with the king, okay? Huh? Oh, your podcast is almost at the 50th episode? That's awesome. What? Wait. No! You tricked me. Why, though? Sorry, he let you out. Freddy. Ferretti. Like, Freddy, but fur, because they're beastmen. Open now. Come out. Okay, yeah, I, that, that, that's got to be on purpose. Uh, hurry to docks. There should be a, a boat. Let's leave the town. Beastmen are attacking Wendell, so fewer soldiers. We can catch the boat before it sets sail. Heard the townsfolk talk about it before I got caught. Hurry. Frey at the statue to heal. Looks like you need it. Go! Quick! I could see what they're saying about kind of like the janky direction in the voice acting. There's potential, and I do think that the voice actors are talented, but there's definitely some, uh, ooh, good. Good music. There's definitely a little, a little jank in how it was, uh, directed. Uh, so Y rolls, B jump, A slash, power slash, use dash to change speed. Once you press dash once, you don't have to. Pr yeah, I switched it to. Uh, I switched it to auto. Curses! You got me. People, yeah, people have been kind of joking that, uh, people have been kind of jo- Wait, what's this? Oh. Are you offering aid in our time of need? Just drive out those beast men, would you? The Jad's Noble's Gratitude has granted you a new ability. Wait, what? MP boost. Jad Noble chain ability. Base MP increased by 10. Yes, the city of Jad. The Virgin, the, the Virgin Jad. Are you offering it? Okay, yeah. Uh, whack. Yeah, I just got that hint. Uh, 
Uh, wait. Why? Oh, other ones. Okay, I gotta raise his. Uh, what is he based in? Oh yeah, the rabbi adornment. Uh, what level is he at? Six? What about the rest of the party? They're a little better. I'll give him the rabbi adornment. So this is the pre-order item. Um, why are they tapping the chest? Because it's Kingdom Hearts. Uh, gives him extra experience in battle up to level 10. And you could uh, see it's like a little necklace that they wear. They used to whack the shit out of them. Why do we need MP? Clash strikes. A heal and kick punch carbo that damages the enemy. One CS bar. Kevin no longer has the duck walk. Uh, trust me, a character in the cutscene had a duck walk. It was pretty janky. Like, the joke going around is that this is definitely the B, the B level remake of, of the two remakes that came out this month. Uh, spirit contain up uh, by one. Luck increases by one. How do I set item? Can I just use it? Very odd. Guess the sacrifice we have to get in order to get adorable wolf Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, right. There's a way to reset these, but I don't want to bother... I didn't check what he's actually... I can't, like, find their... Here we go, there's our stats. Attack 20, defense 16, magic attack 11, magic defense, strength 16. So he would definitely benefit from strength, stamina, and luck. Well, actually, his luck is really high. Fifty percent chance of not getting knocked back. Five percent chance of canceling out damage from the opponent. That's pretty good. Reduce the amount of CS gauge used by ten percent when using Clash Strike. That's cool. Give me whatever you got, man. Uh, I don't know. You gotta make a request. But make one. Make one. You don't have to spend more points. Uh, we'll take lucky... Lucky break. Strength plus five. And we'll get ward off as well. We'll make, a, we'll make them the wacky stats. Other enemies on the attack, other enemies balanced attack, other enemies on the attack. Use moves without MP falling below 75%. Alright, you two, you take care. Uh, we'll say 50. Clash strikes. Whatever. Wait, does everyone have their own CS gauge or is it the same? Yeah, everyone has their own class gauge, okay. Sorry, it's been a, it's been a while. Ooh, look at that cheese. Yum. Uh all right, quick bars. I forgot about those. We're going to have to figure out that later. There we go. Oh, cool. He's got, like, air kicks. Uh, 
Not like in the the left and right camera's annoying me. Up and down's fine. I'm gonna have to switch left and right. Hold on, hold on. Wait, no, not load. Uh, options. Difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, keep it on hard. Just want to make sure, because the game isn't too hard. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't change the, uh... The thing. Some device is keeping it shut. Yeah, he is very cute. Or unless you meant the Howlers, because they're pretty cute too. Whack! Oh yeah, get ready for Angela's jump noise. If you weren't here for the other streams. trigger. Oh, wait. Yeah, Angela won't shut up. It's better Angela, though, than Charlotte. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't think I could... I don't think I could deal with the whole playthrough with Charlotte's voice in this, but... Uh... I might have to if I play this a second time. That must really hurt his foot. Those ball gags? Is that a ball gag? No, it's not. Who's your main lead this run? Uh, Duran. Duran, Angela, and then Kevin. Uh, if I do another playthrough, because I already did a playthrough of the original version, the fan translation, uh, with uh, Hawkeye, Reese, and Charlotte. So if I do another playthrough, it's going to be Kevin, Charlotte, and... Uh, and uh, probably Rees is my third. Just because she's the only character who we won't see the beginning of their story of by that point. What? I was like, what was that? Why the wall shake? Nice mirror texture there. Just a solid gray. Oh, that was MP. Nice bed design. There we go, that's much more that's much more natural to me. Sounds like a door opened somewhere. Up and down being normal is fine. Left and right being inverted is what I need. Um whoop. Oh dear. Uh how do I get items again? How do I get the wait ring menu? Oh, up and down. Okay. So what's left and right do? Wait, how do I clash strike again? What is that button? It doesn't actually say there. Angela's kind of wigging out back there. Sorry, I have to check this again just because I'm not completely used to the controls.
Clash Strike. Uh, I don't see it. Jump, evade, dash, show shortcuts. All oh, right. I think it's um. There it is. I see. There he is. There's our wolf boy. Look at that. Oh, you stay transformed afterwards. How long does that last? Till the battle ends. Oh, he turns- wait, 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 wait. Is that every fight? Have I just been ignoring that? Have I been that blind that I haven't seen that he's been transforming every time he's getting into a fight? Also, he's getting kind of wrecked. Goody. Can't jump off. Hey V4, it's been a while. How you doing? Damn it. Again, after I changed controls, now I can't do it right. Kick. Three candies. This game's been kind of throwing me items, even in the demo. Uh, I am good. How are you doing? Unless I just answered that, in which case, wow. I really do have the memory of a goldfish. Also, yes, I see you. I, I see you. Give me those eyes. A lot of time. Good, it's been slow. Right, how have you been adjusting to uh, the online stuff? I remember you were here during the, the demo telling me about that. Oh, we're in Jad again. Talk to me, handsome. Don't like it that much, but eh. I'm gonna be honest. As much as I enjoy not having a commute and having extra time off, it's it's still it's kind of grating on me that I can't like leave and see my girlfriend. It really hurts. Don't bark if you can't handle a bite. Nice platitude. Um. Quick gawking and get lost. See, this would be neat if there was, like, a stealth section here or something, but... Nah, you could just leave. You could just go. No one's stopping you at all. Get aboard, quick! We're setting sail. Wide face. There's one person watching from a source that's not chat, so if you see me responding to someone whose who's chat stuff isn't appearing on screen, it's it's them. <laughs> oh, some animation. They saved the walk for the cutscenes. Oh, well, I'm also dashing. Maybe if I just walk, it'll look different. When I regain control of my characters, I'll check. Sanctuary of Mana. It's a long story, but she's sort of haunting me while we look for the Mana Stones and the Elementals that protect them. Oh, you tried the demo and it's not there. Oh, Priest of Light mentioned you. I 
uh, traveled to ask him for help. I heard about a person chosen by fairy. You. You must have a story too, right? Some reason to make this journey? So still. Well, it all started. Started with Carl. Yep. There we go. They kept his beast man talk, though. Yep. I thought that was just bad voice directing, but apparently, uh... You can experience the previous journey of your new companion, Kevin. Play through their past. You cannot save during a flashback. Yeah, we know. We've done this with Angela before. Back during the demo. So this is nice. What I learned with Angela is that there's no... P don't bother exploring. Just do the story beats, because... Otherwise, you take forever, and anything you get just disappears once that you return to the main story. Persecuted by humankind, beastmen were forced to live a life of seclusion. In life of the seclusion. Dark woods of Dusk Moon Forest. That sounds rad and as hell, though. One managed to stand up against the oppression. He became <clears throat> king. Under his rule, the beastmen banded together and created the kingdom of Ferolia. There, he and his kin waited for a chance to get revenge on the humans who drove them into hiding. Yeah, sadly, you're gonna have to get used to the poppin. It seems to be quite common on the Switch version. King of cuddly puppers. Well, well, well. Isn't his furry majesty himself? How do you they said the F word. Oh, finally! The time is upon us, sire. With the coming shift in the world's man of power, now's the perfect. It's the king from uh, Tell Concerto. Us all to get back at those nasty humans. <laughs> Do I know you? Kill Jester. Oh, how silly of me! They call me Gormar. Our goals are the same, for I hate humankind as much as you do. Yeah, the wolves are adorable. Okay, why are we sticking on that, that for so long? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll leave, but if you change your mind, my dark spells are always at your service. <laughs> hmm. Wait. I'll give you one chance. He's got those curly jester shoes. <laughs> I shan't waste it. Now then, tell me. What you would have me do, and consider it done, Your Majesty. <laughs> That's two games in a row now we've played with the Furry King. Tail Concerto and now, uh, the uh, Trials of Mana. you <laughs> Kevin was the one and only son of Ferolia's king. The young boy's human mother had long since abandoned her half-blood child, leaving him to be raised in the forest by the Beastmen. Due to his Spartan upbringing, Kevin never connected with others. He was raised as his father's successor and trained to fight from infancy leaving little time for friendships. And perfect English grammar. One night, the young prince came across a slain mother wolf and her living pup, Carl. Finding a true friend in the affectionate wolf, the boy's frozen heart began to thaw. <laughs> like that's a slurp, even though there was no lick noise there at all. Hey, sleep good, huh? Carl? No, no, this is the full version. I'm just playing the flashback for for Kevin. <laughs> what was that yip, Carl? Tiny, but still a wolf. 
Uh, the demo ends when you beat the first boss with the uh, first two characters. And then you get kidnapped by the Beastmen. We're alike. You and me. A little wolf who acts like a dog. A beast man with human blood in my veins. And neither of us have a mom. Oof. Don't worry. A woo. Carl. No no a wooing. $350 penalty. And I'll protect you. Since your mom can't now. Yeah, the flashbacks are optional. I'm just doing them all because we haven't seen them. 350 lucre penalty. No wooing. Ooh woo. -ooh. Carl. What's wrong? K Carl. K Carl. But I, I will. I'll, I'll beat the shit out of you. It's no problem. Is there a way to guard, or is it just when I take damage? Another Ken kicks the puppy moment. Yeah, except that Kevin is the uh, is the puppy. Body's moving on its own. Now we get hunk Kevin. He's of age, right? I'm not gonna get in trouble for saying that. There's the slurp. No. 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 Carl. Carl. How did this happen? You did that. You transformed and you killed him. To actually, I was I, like, it, it. I didn't even register to my mind that he was the reason that happened. For a few seconds, I was like, wait, what? What just happened? Oh. Unable to resist his beastman instincts, the boy transformed and attacked his only friend. Kevin made a grave by the flower patch they'd often visited. Racked with guilt, there he wept for his lost friend. Is that really how Carl dies in the original? I never, I didn't play as Kevin, so I don't know. I'm sorry. If I do a second playthrough, it's going to be Carl, Charlotte, and uh. And Rees. And then I'll probably just do Duran's story. Like Duran's intro afterwards. Because I already did Dur uh, Not Duran, Hawkeyes. Because I already did Hawkeye, Rees, and Charlotte before. But after I finished this playthrough, the only story I wouldn't have experienced is the uh, Kevin Charlotte story. Afterwards, Kevin didn't know how long he wandered the forest. Eventually, however, he made it back to the palace. But. Nothing was the same. Carl... ...couldn't protect my friend. I couldn't... ...stop... ...myself. Beast man blood. You didn't think that's how Kevin would sound, Wait. but it works. Yeah, it does. I, the voice does work for him, because he's kinda... Why? ...nerdy. I transform. Why... ...why now? I don't know. might know something. You don't look so good. Later finds out oh okay. Don't don't spoil it. I'm playing I'm gonna be playing this. Uh.
you know, Chart Moon Tower here and Dusk Moon Forest, right? There's supposed to be something in there keeping the whole area in darkness. Oh, it's right after this? Okay. We ain't so different from humans, so why's we gotta be outcasts, huh? We'll teach those humans what it's like, we will. How come everyone else can talk in full sentences? Long ago, beastmen feared fire. But, or beasts feared fire, but beastmen are different. We know how to handle fire. We know everything humans do. Just ask His Majesty the King. Beastmen are the best. I'm the best. Ludger's meeting with the palace guards to plan the invasion. Curse it all! I wanted to go with them! Why do all the beastmen look the same except for me? Why am I the only beastman that looks different? Oh look, Ga gals. Hear me out. My son says I'm going senile, but my eyes never failed me before. I swear there are fewer moons in the sky. Don't you want to help drive out the humans? Beastman will finally be able to leave this gloomy forest and join the rest of the world. <laughs> there you are. Wait, where's Carl? Kitty. Yeah, uh, there's some aspects of this game that were just done one- Again, I've said it a few times, but this is definitely the B, the B remake of this- of this month. While Final Fantasy VII is the A remake. This was more of a one-to-one -one conversion, whereas FF7 Remake is, uh, is a reimagining. All hail his majesty, our fearless leader! Can't wait to invade the human world! It'll be so exciting! Triangle kick! Tri triangle kick! Triangle kick kicks of mana. Donde. There's some nice swords. Should take one for Duran. Aru. Yep, yep, Aru. Where's the boss? His majesty is out. He left with that weird fellow that just showed up at the castle. Strange, huh? are hereby sent out to take over human settlements. Our first target is the holy city, Wendell. Yes, sir. Now's our chance to pay back the humans for what they've done. Once we take their bugged out a bit there. holy city, we'll have already dealt a serious blow to those weaklings. They'll be shaking in their boots. Yeah! This bad boy oh. Yeah? What's up? Hey, wasn't your mother a human? She abandoned you. Well now's your whole chance well now's your chance to get back at the whole lot of them. Isn't that great? What's this? Why is there like a board here? Huh. Listen up, Kevin. We'll be taking
breaking Jad, then it's straight to Wendell. You hear that, princeling? <laughs> Your old man picked me to lead the Beastmen to victory. He trusts me with his invasion plan, not you. How does it feel to be a waste of space, huh? <laughs> the trunks? Sounds like the same voice actor. <laughs> Listen up, Kevin. Yeah, 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 we heard that already. Your old man picked me to lead the beastmen to victory. He trusts me with his Okay, you can stop talking. You. How does it feel to be a waste of space, huh? <laughs> a stranger came by to offer aid to our king. I wonder who it was. Okay, but how does destroying the city help them or anyone else out? I mean, it's just them getting revenge. They just hate the humans. Kill all humans. The Bender philosophy. Wait, I didn't go the right way. You know what? I did go the right way. Now I'm not going the right way. Where the hell am I supposed to go? <laughs> oh, I just noticed there's a little indicator to mention the uh, the run speed. What? It's a, it says go here. <gasps> oh. What a weird spot to have the plot progression. Uh, I hear something through the wall. I know that voice. Hmm. Always pet the cat. Well yep. done, Gormand. <laughs> it's an honor to fulfill the wishes of the king. Tell me, were you impressed by my dark magic then? <laughs> Corrupting the will of a tiny pup to attack my son is child's play. No matter. It induced Kevin's transformation as planned. Ooh. With no more attachments to keep him from training, my son will become a weapon. I have no more need of you. Leave. Wait, what? Uh, be reasonable, your majesty. Gormon, aren't you powerful enough to kill him? You beast! Oh, shit. So is that his cape, or is that part of- oh, that's a, yeah, that's definitely his cape. Foolish boy. Know your place. Damn. He sent them flying, you literally. yourself death devourer, did you not? Oh, yes indeed, your majesty. <laughs> I leave my son to you. Oh, look at that hair growing out of his feet. That's weird. We heard that good music for like a split second. It was like a tease. A music tease and now it's gone. Yeah, he got yeeted. Yeeted hard. He got yeeted right off the castle, right by the grave. Didn't they say he wandered all night to get back to the castle? Return to the palace, yet again.
can't save uh, in the flashbacks. I can walk around in werewolf form just to see the animation. Uh, if I can, I will. I don't know. I think I have to do the thing to get it. Oh, no. Yeah, no. There he goes. It's just automatic anytime he gets into a fight. The thing is, there's no run speed in battle. In battle, you you always you always run around. A and X. Yay, Naruto runs. Again, this is pointless because none of this matters once you get to the, uh, once you finish the flashback. Ferolia, Beast Kingdom ahead. No humans. Filthy humans, stay out. Furries only. I gotta say, the remix soundtrack in this is pretty good. It's, uh, it, it stays faithful enough to the original version, unlike the Secret of Mana remake, where it kind of just goes off the rails in, in, in a not good way. Ass motherfucker. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I've come to you with an offer. Wouldn't you like to know how to bring your little Carl back to life? Ah, oh, Kevin's a gullible asshole. Yeah, you can use both soundtracks. Listen. Okay, Only sorry. Sorry I interrupted. Because he knows how to bring back the dead. You lie! <laughs> now, does this look like the face of a liar? Yes. You cannot wait! Luger's guards have already left. If you dally, they may do away with the priest before you arrive. Where's Wendell? Where? <laughs> this way, your highness. Now, you must make for Mintus. It's just outside the Dusk Moon mm, Forest. Mint. And from there, Mint ass. cross the sea to the city of Jad. Wendell is quite close to that location. Hmm? So don't dodge it, or Ludger will have complete control of Wendell before you even arrive. Understand? Try to stay out of sight. Okay? I gotta say, though, Gormon, his... I shouldn't be Fuck. With you Stop talking already. I'll take my leave. Goodbye and good luck, young prince. Stop talking so I can discuss your voice acting, which is actually really good. I'll say, Gormon probably has the most... well, like, well-directed voice so far of all the characters I've encountered. Carl. Wait for me. Priest of Light and Wendell will tell me how to bring you back. Still my best friend. Carl. That coward is no father. He must be the reason. Mom left me behind. Is she... alive? 
looking at my watch while I'm waiting for this line to finish up here. To see her. Something tell if that's how his dialogue is gonna be this whole game. Something tells me I'm not gonna I'm gonna get kind of fed up with that. Kevin burned with hatred for his father and shame for the feral blood in his veins that made him deliver the final misguided blow to his only friend. Look at look, look how doofy he runs. I feel like replaying the original at this point. Hey, it's worth it. The young prince was hot on their heels. He had to get to Wendell and ask the priest of light to bring Carl back to life. So he just swims. Everyone else takes a boat, he swims. Kevin finished recounting the harrowing story of how they came to be on this journey. And that's how it happened. I see. Fairy. I go with you. My wish is granted. No, I don't have a problem with how he talks. It's the speed. Come with he us. speaks very the slowly. Goddess of Mana will find a way to bring Carl back. Once she reawakens. All right. I'm in. With my fancy rabbi pendant that I got at some point between then and now. I mean, honestly, it's the worst the worst like main character voice i think is charlotte and i'm not even saying the voice is bad i'm just saying it's the fact that it's all uwu uwu speak yeah he talks like beastman despite no other beastman actually speaking that stilted free city of maya Maya Fey. Maya, or maybe it's Maya. I, I don't know. It could be one or the other. I... Dad, but I've been running around blindly ever since. Why don't you ask around town for ideas? Sounds like a good idea to me. I could use some new gear. Let's look in the shops while we're at. Looking for secrets. Welcome to the free city of Maya. Ships regularly travel thee from these docks to Jad Stronghold. <laughs> Golden Road is west of this town. <laughs> Just another stone path, no. No gold to be seen. Uh, it's got the great music, though. <laughs> Guess I won't be returning to Jad for a while. This here's the port of Maya. Keep your head down and your eyes peeled, you hear? Didn't he have a Boston accent? I should be giving him that one. Alright, uh, so that's another, it's a, kind of a one negative to this game. When you're in like a town or calm area with no enemies, you can't switch characters. You're just whoever the main character is. Yet yeah, you could still slash your sword. King of Valsena is a great swordsman. He and the Golden Knight used to slay menacing dragons around the world. As a lad, I looked up to the pair of them. Only times you could talk with your partners, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, they're somewhere. You've been journeying. What a large undertaking. If you find them in the town. There are too many choices here, though, so I don't know what to buy. You got to say, can I speak to you? Nah, not really. Off and on an adventure, eh? I'm sure you'll be fine, but I wish you safe travels regardless. <laughs> Burp. You're looking for the Mana Stones, huh? I'd reckon His Majesty the Hero King of Alcena knows a thing or two. Guess that his majesty knows about the mana stones. 
The ocean is calm today. It's a great day for sailing. What I don't like is the game holding you by the hand too much. You can turn the, uh, the quest marker off. I just leave it on to make things easier. this town it's nice yeah there's not a whole lot of exploration I think it opens up a bit more towards the end once you get the, uh, the turtle there's a lovely bridge across stone split gap it's the best way to get to Valsena dancing boy Expect me to never use any of those. Welcome. <laughs> Come again. Yeah, the seeds are better because it's a level up system that gets you just better items as you go along. But uh Head west from here and take the golden road to get to the merchant town of Bizer. Lots of traders used to come to our town, but the road is infested with monsters. Now hardly anyone comes. Oh, actually, we're kind of... Plus, better changes the more seeds you plant. Yeah, chances. Welcome. It's Undyne Day. of light risked his life to put a barrier around Wendell to repel the Beastman. It made his eminence fall so dangerously ill. He collapsed. They say a young priest named Heath is the only one in Wendell who can cure the deadly sickness. No one knows where he is. This could be bad. Look at that chest beard. It's ridiculous. Can I head that way? Yeah, I can. I shouldn't, though. Golden Road ahead. Beware of monsters. Yeah, Duran does have a luscious mane. Cat face. Supposedly, the entrance to Dwarf Tunnel is in Stone Split Gap. Are there more monsters around than usual, or is it just me? One day I'll grow into this armor. I'll be the greatest hunter of monsters in the world. Sorry, but there's, that's the wrong series. You're in the wrong place for that. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Circlet bandana. Does bandana have three ends in it? Yeah, it does. Never mind. Leather vest. Oh, good choice. He sounds like Ring. Kevin's Kevin sounds like Ring from Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, good choice. Oh, okay. These are only equipable by single people. Nice. Oh, good choice. I'll make use of this. Wait, why? Oh, unequipped. Ah, oh, shit. So if it says if it says no, then it's unequipped. Ah, uh, that's stupid of me. Gotta rebuy them. Lots of wares to 
brows. Oh, good choice. This is good quality. Oh, good choice. I love shopping. All right, so I gotta remember that. I love how Duran got his father's sword, and then I immediately sold it for a better one. Sorry, I have things to do! Even though you weren't bothering me in the first place. Golden Road splits off before it gets to Bizer in the west. The other branch takes you to Valsena, governed by the Hero King. This is the Hero King? Sorry, I have things to do. That's weird, that's what the old dude said too. There's Angela. Could we just stay here and rest for a while? We've been fighting monsters for forever. I think we deserve a break. Swords. And other such goodies. Who are you? Leave me be. I have enough on my plate. Look at that breb. It's good breb. Lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. You come again. All right, dar I forgot I had darts, magic items, ton oil has magic damage done to ally. I should use these. Give that to uh, Kevin. Give that to Angela. <laughs> Come again. The only annoying thing is that, like, you can't. You just can't, like. Touch cover. Why did I use that? Why didn't let me use that? That's right. I, I wanted to see what I could do uh, regarding those those. know how to set stuff. Hold on. He has that adornment on and he still has earned less uh, EXP overall. Beast form. Kevin is half beast man. As such, during the day he appears human, but at night he can change into beast form to fight. In beast form, Kevin can deal even more damage than usual. Okay, so that's how it works. It's just at night, he's beast man. Basically, he's pubby. Um, spring steppers. We ran into one of those. Oh yeah, I pointed this out when I was playing the demo, but it's funny that um, Duran and Angela have two halves of one outfit. Angela has everything covering her torso, while Duran has his midriff completely exposed, but has pants. So what weapons are available? Um, it's the same, it's gonna be the same weapons for all of them. Um, but hold on, I want to, uh... I want to get that equipped for later. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Same, same, and iron knuckle for Duran. I'll give him that. Use this. I could use this. So we could sell the leather glove. Get some lucre for it. <laughs> Come again. Everyone has their own weapon class. So it's very, it's very simplistic. They don't go overboard. 
they keep the game they keep the game as simple as the original was essentially oh I see you're on a journey yeah how astute of you to notice the lady can only use spears yeah the male the guy can only use swords and the beast dude can only use his fist do you know what an alchemist is mom won't tell me my child seems to really like the inventor who lives near the town. I don't quite see the appeal. Oh god, this town's a bit bigger than I thought. It's a beefy town. Beast boy, what do you got? There's six characters, uh, but you can only play as three per playthrough. Lots of people. Lots of new things. Wow. Lots of food, too. Can I eat this? I love how many birds there are. This is the house of Von Boyage, the alchemic inventor. I saw some weird machines in his backyard. Oh, I know this dude. He lived- oh yeah, there's the cannon. Fuck, I remember this. Special announcement from Von Boyage, the alchemic inventor. Coming soon. They kind of tuck his house away in this version, don't they? How's the multiplayer? Is there no multiplayer? Secret of Mana was big on the multiplayer. Unfortunately, the remake does not have multiplayer, uh, just because of the nature of how the game is in 3D. It would be very hard for drop-in, drop-out uh, on a single screen. So there isn't, unfortunately. Like I've said, this is kind of the B. The original did have multiplayer, yes. But again, that wasn't 3D. Um, I've said it a few times, this is kind of like the B-level remake that Square Enix did. Whereas Final Fantasy VII Remake is the A-level remake. It's always the food that gets everyone. Yep. Strange inventions are scattered about. Probably best to leave them alone. Kinda looks like this is a new game with the same characters as the story. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot more action-oriented in terms of how the gameplay actually works. Never mind. It hardly matters. You simply must see my invention. Wait for me in the backyard. It's... That's not the voice I imagined from... Also, didn't he wear glasses in the original S SD3? Tactics Ogre PSP was kind of like that. Practically a new game with the same characters and story. Oh, interesting. I'm... I'm... I'm Von Boyage's sister, Von Soir. My brother says he's an alchemist, but he's just a regular inventor. He's never meddled with medals, after all. Eyeball emoji. Wait, how'd you get out here before me? for leaving money on the ground. Oh no. That's the- Oh god. Look, the ocean texture just goes up on the far-off mountains. Oh. Oh, oh no, look. Yeah, like in general. The, the boat's not on the water. It's floating above it. This is the Fallout 76 of uh, Square Enix games. <laughs> you want to know what this is, right? Right? Just wait. Hmm. There's only one easy way to Valsena from Maya, and that's the bridge. It's down the treacherous Golden Road, and it's full of monsters. <laughs> Hardly an effective or safe travel route. However, behold! With my new deluxe super cannon, you could reach it in one blast! It's the latest model, and I'm almost done! So, what do you think? That's really something, alright. Head to Valsena. 
Behold, with my new Stilux Super Cannon, you can reach it one blow. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. So, can I not? It says Deluxe Super Cannon. Yeah, I had a feeling. I don't think you could use that right away. Better than the Sun Mobile. Oh, God, yeah, the Secret of Mana mobile version. Where they had, like, everything tiled, and it looks terrible. It's hot garbo. It's not really making me run any faster. Oh, here we go, some hype-as-fuck music. After we load. After we load. Ugh. Kitties. Oh wait, no, those are bandits. Never mind. I said I wouldn't go back to Balsena until I defeated that Crimson Wizard. Now I gotta go back without even changing my class. My, cl my class. <laughs> secrets, secrets, secrets of mana. No, nope, no mana secrets. Yes. I must destroy all of the kitty. They're not kittens, though. I think they're actually, uh... Something else. What's up, Slick? Hey, you haven't seen a weird cactus thing around here, have you? I've been looking all over for it. People say that good things happen when you talk to the cactus, but he's shy. He doesn't stay in one place for long. Hey, you're traveling, right? Keep an eye out for that little cactus. Talk to the cactus whenever you can. Try to, try to hurt the wizard whenever you see him. Oh, you can't go down here! I was like, wait, what? Chocolate. Oh, thanks. Kevin actually used the candy for me. Hori ball. <laughs> yeah, so that's a mechanic. I don't know if that was in the original Seiken and Tetsu 3. Uh, the charge attack, it's... The, some enemies have guards, and charge attack breaks it. Beware of darts. There they are. Ch Chobin hood. They're Chobins. Enemies are definitely going down a little slower now, but I'm also- I also think I'm underleveled. Since you could hit level, uh, 80, 80? What am I saying? Level, uh, 10 in the de- uh, 7 in the demo. Also news that you can be more specific with strategy with your partners, yeah.
Platforming. All for a candy. Secrets. Secrets of mana. Oh, Angela's up. Nice. Uh, plus they show you the area of effect on enemy spells to give you a sporting chance to dodge them. Yeah. the duck walk. <laughs> nah, now he's just, he walks like a badass now. Level up, baby. Just tornado kicked them into oblivion. Those are kitties. <laughs> Carly's 15. Everyone is 15, you sick fucks. Admit, I do like playing as Kevin a lot. Oh well, yeah, because isn't Carly? Carly is um, is Charlotte's original name. Uh oh, uh oh. Someone heal me? No. Okay, never mind. So you can't use it while you're in battle, yet they won't let you use it without putting the the, the, the ring on, or uh, on the ring, yeah. There is some exploring, but it's like, it doesn't amount to much in the long run. It's just health refills and stuff. Which, if you're good at the game, you won't need. Also, I really, I really don't like the day and night transition in this game. The way it just, like, 
completely, like, it goes completely black. It always makes me think an event's happening. Zambos! Oh, oops. I did the wrong thing. We're all poisoned. Naruto running pupper. Angela have another spell? Yeah, she does. Holy Bolt deals light magic damage. Why can't I use it? How do I add that to the hot bar? Or do I not? Did I not give her enough points to unlock it? Yeah, no, she has it. Holy Bolt, Spirit. Uh. Anything I can get fairly soon? Not really. Limit break. Magic damage. Deal. She kept using it. Have you noticed? Yeah, I know she was using it, but I can't do it. Put that point in int. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just not paying attention. Alright, wait, let me see if uh, the progress wheel is an interesting take. Yeah, I don't think it's the only stat up they get when they level up. I just think it's the bonus that you get to allocate. They still get stronger when they level up normally. Alright, wait, how do I... Abilities, light elemental magic. Open the ring menu, then hold R and... Oh, okay, that's what I have to do. I remember. Uh, so I switched to her. I heard they changed the class change as well. Namely, you actually get a proper explanation of each class before committing. Yes. Not only that, but uh, in the post-game, there is actually a third uh, class change now, apparently. Oh, I see. The shortcuts are different for everyone. Uh, set short... Oh, okay. Wait, no. What? Oh, the magic gets set to the to the right menu. Wait, so what's in the left menu? Other than that, is that the other? Oh, that's the other. You know what? I think there's other stuff you get there. Other CS moves. That's right. 
So L is just for uh, CS moves. R is both magic and items. Come on. Okay, makes sense now. I was really confused for a bit. Nice camera. Nice camera. Okay. I see secrets up there. Four. A little weird outcropping here. Yeah, I've already been down here. Alright, so we went in a circle. Danger of night. Use archway. The writing is scratched off in places. Hey, there's the cactus. <laughs> Duran looks so happy to see him. He's got little bird feet! Low Cactus Sightings, 1 of 50. Search for the mysterious moving plant Low Cactus on your journey. Check all the towns and caves you find since you'll never know where it'll turn up. Every time you find them, you get a stamp. The more stamps you get, the better prizes you'll receive. Confirm how many times you've come across Low Cactus when prizes you'll receive by pressing Y on the map, minus button. View under Next prize, view undiscovered treasure boxes. Oh, that's cool. So you're in Maya. There's Valsena where we started. Mulbear Moors. Jad, Rabbite Forest, Astoria, Cascade Cavern, Temple of Light, Wendell. Oh wait, you get to see all the prizes. View undiscovered treasure boxes, get a 10% discount at shops. Occasional times 2 boost to EXP, time need to escape from battle now halved, rest at inns free of charge, and a 20% discount at shops. More items available and re resetting training points half off at night market. View undiscovered treasure boxes and low cactus sightings. Occasional 3 times boost to EXP, higher chance of good yields from seeds, obtain low cactus ring and gain the little cactus chain ability. Prize effects will be reflected automatically. Interesting. Good for a collective, uh, collective holic like me. Whack. Oh, oops. Wrong button. You do get more XP if you use those moves, so holding on to them is kind of pointless.
400 lucre, not bad. 400 goes a long way in this game. I keep thinking you could go behind stuff, and the answer is no. Fun. Wasn't there a treasure chest over here? Or was I imagining things? Maybe I just saw the glowing, and I got confused. Also, yes, there is a targeting system if you click in the right stick. Angela is sick yet again. Oh, yeah, Angela wasn't the one who got sick before. Oh, cool. If, uh, even if the CPU does a Clash Strike, it counts as the uh, EXP bonus. That's neat. Fairy Nut. Wait, is that the boat dude again? This here is the Merchant Town Advisor. The Merchant's Guild has received intel that the magicians of Altena to the north are preparing to attack. You could be one of their spies. No outsiders allowed in the city at this time. Go away. It's the same dude, though. Uh, I guess I guess Skipper is just their title. They all have the same. This all they all have the same accent. See, now this sucks because that cactus is probably in spots I've already been to. And I'm going to be like, well, I don't know. Now i got to go back and check every nook and cranny. Try attacking enemies from behind when you find them in the field. If your aim is true, you might get a critical hit with extra power. Extra power. Silent cavern. Oh, 
Oh, I actually have to equip that? Uh... Wait, could someone else maybe learn it? Hold on. Also, excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry about that. Now that I can uh, properly mute the mic, uh, you shouldn't be able to hear that anymore. Limit break. Increases magic damage by 5%. It's a chain ability. To be honest though, probably at victory MP boost is probably better. Just because it refills her MP quicker the more enemies she kills. that candy. This game's pretty generous with the uh, the health refills. Oh, I've been here before. I seem to recall a boss fight on a bridge. Who goes there? <gasps> it's the princess. Princess Angela, you are charged with treason and sentenced to death by Her Majesty the True Queen. What? Why? What did I do? You let Wait. your boobs hang out. What are you doing? Well, what do you mean? Silence you. You are all enemies of the kingdom. Hey, bring out those magic devices. We'll trap them on the bridge. Hey, this. Magic devices? Huh? What? Oh, this thing. Fuck.
Oh, there's two of them. Blow this all at once. Phenomenal fist. Nice. Her attack is really weak. Stop exploding, you cowards! Oh. Well, they're about to all hit the point where the rabbi accessory is completely pointless. Everyone! Retreat! Good read. Doesn't this blow up the bridge, though? Yep. I still remember my second in Setsu 3. Oh, sorry. This is my fault. No kidding. Leave it to Altanish mages to mess everything up. Well, excuse me, well, princess. Maybe you should have just collapsed right along with that bridge. But don't understand. Why are all tennis troops here? <sighs> yeah, the Alcina line reads in this game are a little uh, interesting. Other kingdoms to search for the mana stones. If the mages are here, we can bet there's a mana stone nearby. We need to find the hero king as soon as possible and ask him where the stone and its elemental are. But, ugh. How are we supposed to get to Valsena without a bridge? I don't know. You could fly over. What's her name was able to do that for you guys before? Wait, did I really go back all the way here? Okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. Find another way to get to Volsena. Volsena's practically at our doorstep. Hurry! Yeah. 
EXP and burned in battle increases until level 10. It's really not that big of a boost either. Ooh, a gem ring. What the hell? I didn't know we had that. Oh, it also gives a boost. It gives a plus, uh... A, a plus two... What is it? Plus two to, uh, defense and magic defense. That's actually not bad. I'll keep that on, uh... Angela. Wait, wait. Does she need that? Well, yeah, I guess she kind of does. Nah, he needs it more. Give her the gem ring. Wait, actually, no. It's better for him. Oh, but he can't equip the gem... Uh, oh, yeah, all right then. We'll just do it. Do it this way. Actually, wait. Does she have the ring on when you when you equip that? Where does it go? Oh, it doesn't equip. That's weird because the rabbi adornment does appear on him. You could see it on his chest. Interesting. Cyclone deals wind damage. None of them have actual spells. Adds 2% of CS gauge when receiving damage. My name for that, honestly. Oh, wait, retain. Effect at length increased 100% for status increase caused by move. Interesting. Right, we do have a way of getting to Optana. Eyeing the drinks, I see. Wait a few years and I'll treat you to a pint. I can't talk to him. quality turkey. You could taste all three polygons in it. What? The bridge is down? Oh, I see. Well, have no fear. With my Hyper Deluxe Super Cannon version 2, I can fix all your problems. Did you rename it? Oh, Crispy turkey. Never mind that. You need to come into my backyard again. Lickety split. Wouldn't it be splickety licked because your name is. Uh, it is. Uh, hmm. I'm full of quality today, just like that quality turkey. Pro tip to shoot yourself out of a fucking cannon. Version 2 TM. I forgot about ignition fuel. Nitromite. I need nitromite to fire this up. Think you can grab some for me? I've got too much work left on my next invention to get it myself. You'll be fine. Yeah, you had time to dick around and show us the version 1 of the cannon. That doesn't work. Oh, 
Oh, well, time to go to that other city. Well, guess we gotta ask around. We gotta go to the other city because it's, it's at the night market, isn't it? Oh god, look at all the leads. Nope. Oh, never mind. Nitromite. Pretty sure dwarves use that stuff in the mines to dig tw tunnels. Dwarfs? I thought it was dwarves. Oh, wait, no, it's dwarfs. Then dwarven is a different word. Again, I, I get that it's a way to just reload the, the place with the proper lighting, but it's still very, very weird. Look around, or you could follow the markers. Yeah, exactly. Go to Dwarf Village! There's a secret entrance in Stone Split Gap just before the bridge. That's all I know. Once we get to Stone uh, Split Gap, we gotta find Dwarf Village. What are we waiting for? We're sure there's a hidden entrance there, though. Right? Uh, for instance, if you take no damage to defeat the enemy within a certain time frame, you get more XP than usual. The the bonus from the rabbi charm is very small. It was like three experience, like three to six per battle. So once I hit level ten, it's not going to matter at all. Yeah, like you got seven experience from that. We've, uh, we've hit the apex of where that, uh, accessory is going to take us outside of the stat boosts. Oh, alright, that's not a, an ability. The interesting thing is that there's there's so few rewards here, I'm probably going to hit all these before I get my first class change. If I level up enough. Alright, well I still get to keep the, uh, the adornment at least. Alright, yeah, it still gives the, uh, the bonuses, so I'll keep that on. That rabbi the dorm will probably come in use, uh, in a lot more use when I do, uh, the second playthrough, which is probably not gonna be anytime soon. I'm probably gonna beat this playthrough, uh, and play this again, like, in a year or something. This remake looks great. Yeah, it is, it is pretty great. Um, it's a little rough around the edges. It's definitely not FF7 remake, but it's, it's, it's the remake that Seiken and Setsu 3 deserves, I'll say that. It stays faithful enough to it to be good. You know what other Square Enix re-release or remake I'm getting, I'm like kind of hyped for? It's coming out this summer, uh, Crystal Chronicles Remastered. I've never played the, I played the original, uh, version for like a few hours, but I've never beaten it. So I'm looking forward to playing a, uh, a beefed up version of it with new dungeons. I've seen a full playthrough of it. My brother loved the game. 
Bulk Collection of Mod, I think it was Remix, was very disappointed. I mean, if you could get it at a discount, it's not that bad, because, I mean, those are three very good games. Well, lauded good games, games that people say are good. I had a lot of problems with Secret of Mana, and I had some issues with Final Fantasy Adventure. Uh, oh, you pre-ordered it? That kind of sucks. Sorry. <laughs> I will say, getting to play uh, Seiken and Setsu 3 in English, like, the original version, is worth it, I feel. But at the same time, I'm like, well, I already played the fan translation, I might as well just wait for the remake. And I don't like Secret of Mana enough to go back and replay it. Same with uh, Final Fantasy Adventure. And then there's the Secret of Mana remake, which is crap, apparently. The music's terrible, graphics aren't that great. Uh, the, the thing with Secret of Mana Remake is that they just took the original game and put a, like, 3D coat of paint on it. Fair point, but I also played the fan translation back then. I probably would have played Secret of Mana probably 20 times before. Yeah. I'm honestly not a big fan of Secret of Mana. Even though it's the first Mana game I played, when I played through it, there was a lot of frustration when I streamed it. This year, uh, I'm probably going to stream, because I... Sh I stream the Mana games generally on my stream's anniversary. This was an exception because it just came out. But uh, this year I'm probably doing Legend of Mana on PlayStation 1. Just because it's the next game in the uh, list. Oh, there's a hidden something here. I'll say that this soundtrack is way better than Secret of Mana Remake's soundtrack. Secret of Mana Remake's soundtrack is terrible. <laughs> There's some songs that are okay, but then others are just, like, needlessly, like, techno and... ...weird and, and like, badly remixed and rearranged. This game keeps the, the remix soundtrack faithful to the original while still sounding different. I don't recall this being the place. The old dwarf tunnel is supposed to be around here, right? I finally get to work out. See this wall here? It's actually an illusion made with refracted light. Go cool, huh? Yeah, the uh, spirits in this you know, game have interesting voices. Gem Belly, because of all the crystals in the rock walls. The crystals are how the dwarves disguise the entrance. Here, look. This big rock looks normal, but I can shine my light to nullify the illusion. I know you want to see, right? Wait till you see, wait till you hear the fire elementals, like, intro. Ta-da! Here's what the entrance to Dwarf Tunnel really looks like. Now get in there! Just do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Get in there, you crazy freaks. Bap <laughs> Where's the statue? I want to save. Wasn't he supposed to, you know, flicker like a light source? Uh, I don't know. I'll say that opening chests in mana games are never really that satisfying because it's always just a healing item. It's never anything like substantial. Except for uh, Sword of Mana, where you would get the weapons from a, ch a specific chest. I don't understand. It's telling me to go down here, yet the star is. Wait. What? Oh, I went backwards. Oops. Never mind. I mean, Lumina looked like a flickering flame. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's just kind of like a, a blob. A green blob. Wait, where's the wall? Oh, there it is.
dwarf village. Dwarf village right under all of our feet. Huh. Come on, let's buy some nitromite. Let me just pick up the money that the dwarves left for me here. Live and breathe, Topsiders! Y'all done saw through our trick at the entrance, did ya? Well, welcome to Dwarf Village. You Don Gun Don did it now. Yeah, Nitromite. Was saying Dynamite Forbidden or something? Eh, they just want to make it sound fantasy. Fantasy Dynamite. Dwarf Village. Don't see many humans in these parts. Howdy do. That was a hard day's work if there ever was one. I'm way past ready for my dinner. Way past cool. Oh. Cave life is just not my style. What do I look like? A mole? Us dwarfs make wep uh, we make weapons from the ore we dig up. Yep, they're all handmade. That's weird. I could have swore the uh, my party members were with me just a second ago. I guess not. We ain't got much use for weapons ourselves. Why don't the shop stock more pickaxes? That's what I want to know. Remember Final Fantasy Adventure when I kept running out of pickaxes? Honey elixir. Out of the way, I got holes to dig! So stay back if you like your head where it is. So off to work I go. Oh yeah, they are. Fur vest, witch robe, common male. Looks good. Oh, you can't actually sell the rabbi accessory. You're stuck with it in your inventory forever if you have the DLC. My minimalist run has been ruined. Welcome. All these wares are good picks. Gladius, sorcerer rod, spiked glove. Ooh, looks good quality. I love shopping. Use this. Why would? Why would a? Uh... Angela likes shopping. She's the princess. Doesn't she just have everything handed to her? Come again. Nitromite, huh? Watts had made some in his shop, I think. But fuck if I know, I'm a dwarf. You know all about our patron elemental gnome, I reckon. His earth and powers protect us in the mines. We're lucky to have him. Been digging around in circles for days. Almost gave up hope until I cracked into a great big hole. A gigantic monster was hiding deep in the rocks, eyes glittering something fierce. Done near ruined my britches, let me tell you. Caves are nice and quiet. Peaceful. Huh. 
Top soilers, get away! Nope, I'm taking that. I took your chocolate. How do you feel about that? Your chocolate's gone. Comfy beds. Reminds me of the uh, inn in Barrel Volcano in Mario RPG. Candy, honey elixir, candy, parpado claw. Couple wishes. Eh, that wasn't that great. Which one? Hey Watts, what do you got for me? Yeah, watch the shopkeeper done got a job to do. The tunnel's a mess further in. Ooh let me tell you. Well, uh, there's a lot of monsters, so you uh, should buy some items first. <laughs> I am minding the shop. Love it. Love his voice. Well, on that note. Welcome. <laughs> okay, never mind. Look for Watts. Well, all these wares are good picks. Oh, he doesn't have the uh, the nitro glycerin. No, sorry, nitromite. Legally distinct ni uh, nitroglycerin. I don't think I'm ever gonna use this dart. I'm just gonna throw it out. All right, we gotta look for Reggie Watts. He's gonna sell us a Google Stadia. If they could do this to get into the tunnel to find Watts, why am I doing it? What the he Why did it explode, though? But why? It's like kind of like a fever dream. Good lord, I feel uncomfortable looking at dwarves up close. They've got very bushy beards. Just like me. Alright, uh, wait a minute. have the, the remake on. Just want to make sure. Sometimes it doesn't sound like any bit different. Wait, what's this? Normal zoom? If those beards look slightly more red, they look like lips. <laughs> Medium zoomed out. Zoomed out. Zoomed in. Rope. They're like, yeah, your dumbass is gonna get lost in here. So here's some rope. Beware cavens. Don't confront Watts if you know what's good for you.
Look, Sonic. Sonic Mole Bear. I love how Duran just like went completely through that door. There's Reggie Watts. Hmm? Yeah, I'm Watts. Who's asking? Oh, you want nitro mite? I got some here. It'll cost you though five thousand lucre. No. Yeah, sure. Hey. You ain't got enough money. Guess there's no deal then. Oh, wait. Hang on. So if I actually had 5,000, would I get it now? Oh, wait. I ain't got time to chat. I'm looking Oh, no, I guess home. not. Our patron elemental. <laughs> uh, he ain't nowhere to be found. There's just been so many dang quakes and rumbles down here. I came to check on Gnome, but he was gone. Oh, what a mess. Oh, I can't wait to hear what Gnome sounds like. No time to waste. I'll be deeper in the caves looking for Gnome. No, wait! Ah, uh, it's gone. Give me a break. I gotta get back to Balsena as soon as possible. We have to try and bargain with Watts. Don't let him get away. Besides... I'm still a little worried that Gnome is missing. I have a bad feeling that I just can't shake. Putty Toss. My friend's favorite game, Putty Squad. Oh, that lowers your attack if you get hit by the putty. Wrong! Whoa! Oh, never mind. That was two people taking damage at once. I was like, "What just did six thousand da or two thousand damage? Two thousand six hundred damage." I keep. So, who's your favorite character to play as so far? Uh, I like all of them. Angela's probably my least favorite, just because she's magic based, and I don't have a whole lot of magic right now. But I do like playing as uh as Kev, Kev and uh, Duran, especially at night when Kev's in a, a beast, a beast man. 
Angela's a sorceress. Yeah, she's the magic knight. She won't shut up. Yep. What beast does Kevin turn into? He turns into like a werewolf. Come on. And when when it's nighttime. Only in battle though. Yeah, any Naruto runs. What does it look like? Uh, I will show you once um. Once we can, once it becomes night again. Oh, there he is! Look, it's night now. There, there he is. He's Wolf Boy. Yeah, he's a wolf with the anime hair. I never play saw Kevin in the uh, in the original version, so I had no idea he could transform. You should call him Waffle. Can you name the protagonist? Uh, in the original version, yes. In this version, no, because there's voice acting. What? Found a little cactus. Find me three more times for a prize. Oh, find me three more times for a prize. Wait a minute. Uh. Wait, what's the path up here? Oh. Okay. Uh. Whoop. Total werewolf. If I play the Sans version, maybe I'll name him Waffle. <laughs> Get out of my way before Mush booms. Oh, I just noticed it still has a little icon next to Kevin for the, uh, rabbi thing. Which is funny, because it has no extra effect anymore. Unless at level 10 is when it wears off. Yeah, I played Tail Concerto last week, and I had a uh, a dog named Waffle in it. Alright, uh... Oh, I'm missing out on some stuff here. I came from this room. And this is the room that goes... Oh my god, this camera. Being a little uncooperative. Alright, so that's where I just was. And this can be busted down. I'm glad I like how Kevin plays, since he's going to be the main character of the second playthrough. Oh, 
this looks like a challenge room. How's the Valkyrie Spear Lady as a player? Um, she's alright. It's Her physical attacks don't do a lot of damage. That's the only issue. And right now she only has one magic spell. Also, she has a very, very annoying jump noise. Oh, you mean this? You mean this? Uh, Reese. Um, I can't remember how she played. Honestly, it's been a long time since I played the original version. She's like a lower tier melee character compared to Duran, but with decent magic abilities when she class changes. Did you place her in the demo? No. I, uh, this is the team I played in the demo, because the demo data carries over to the full game. If I'm not mistaken, this is the same party that Vinny picked for his demo playthrough, but it's also the party I didn't play as the first time I played it, so it kind of just worked out that way. Uh, let's get him damage CS boost next. Let's get her spirit plus five. That's good. Let's get him defensive. any damage at all. It didn't. It did like nothing. <laughs> Thing is, Duran's the tankiest, whereas Kevin's the strongest in physical damage. Yeah. Once I get more magic, uh, Angela will be a lot more useful. Yeah, Duran is a sword guy. Oh yeah, now Kevin's uh, icon is gone. Okay, so the EXP boost was up to level 10, but now that everyone's level 11, no one's gonna get it anymore. Okay, so now I have to see if that's not good enough for him anymore. Let's still give him the stat boost, alright. So we can still keep it for now. But we'll probably get something much better for him later. Duran, I think, is the tankiest in the whole game. weapons are in the game. So it's it's staff for Angela, fists for Kevin, uh, swords for Duran, Hawkeye I think uses knives, uh, Carly uh, uses wand, I don't know what Carly uses, or Charlotte is what her name now. Charlotte uses uh, I think wands or something, and then um, Reese uses spears.
Yeah, wands and staffs, pretty much. And knives. Wands, staffs, and knives. Okay, how about the defense down? His light clash change gives him a shield. Oh, well, shield is actually a separate uh, equipment stat in this game, so... If you look, he's the only one that has a shield. Oh, chest. How did I miss that? Flash changes in this game aren't based on stats, right? Like in Sword of Mana. Sure, I fight a boss here. Hmm. Where'd this hole come from? Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. My control is rumbling like a motherfucker. Did you hear that? I ain't gonna stick around. <laughs> Later. Later, suckers. <laughs> Oh god, another anteater. Uh, what's with this mold thing? I ain't got time to deal with this. Let's get this done. I'm just going to bum rush it. Oh, she only ended up for one. Oh, that's pain. That is pain. Uh -oh. 
Oh, come on. Come on. Angel's dying a little too much here. Yeah, the boss fights involve a little more strategy, but they also are just a lot more hack and slashy in general, just by the nature of this game. I'm just gonna set them to use it whenever they want. Angela needs MP. Uh, yeah, that's true. I don't have a lot of... The thing is, though, we're doing decent damage. Nah, we don't need it. Not here. We're good. This thing's dead. It. Completely destroyed. Oh, it does one second boss. That was the third boss. I fought those uh, little robots. Everyone doing all right? Woo! <laughs> so that's the legendary subterranean monster jewel eater. Well, I'll be. Uh. Oh, the tunnel entrance you know as Stone Split Gap, we call Gem Valley. They say that Jewel Eater only surfaces in the valley once every 1,000 years. Oh, you all are lucky. We killed it. That thing was a legendary creature and we destroyed it. Stone goes missing and now Jewel Eater appears. <laughs> what in tarnation is going on? <laughs> well... My ears done started burning. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> You're all right. Well, of course I'm all right. See? There I was, just taking a nap, minding my own business, when Jewel Leader done come out of nowhere and dug a burrow straight through my bed. If I hadn't woken up, I'd have been that monster's lunch. <laughs> Whew. Ooh. That ain't nothing to laugh about. Gnome's not Scottish. I'm disappointed. Uh, Trust me, it could be a lot worse. If it ain't Barry, <laughs> been too long, sister. <laughs> With the power of the elementals. We can open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. Please. Well... I ain't one to turn down a request from an upstanding lady like yourself. <laughs> Leave it to me, miss. Hell yeah. We got Gnome. Now that you can access Gnome's powers, you can use the Earth Elemental Magic by putting training points towards the abilities from training. Here's some examples. Stone Saber imbues allies weapon with Earth Elemental. Protection boosts allies defense. Diamond Shards deals Earth Magic damage. Earth Magic damage. I don't see anything here for them, though. Yeah, it's not really worth it. Get her some extra spirit. And get him defensive. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Oh, now she could get diamond shards. So her stuff's already there. No one else has anything locked at the car. Conflagration. No, that's not it. Yeah, I've, j I've just picked a very magic light party. Angela's kind of the person who's going to get all that. So what does she need? She needs uh, four stamina points. So we'll put that in with the next uh, four levels for her. I didn't break a single one of those jars during battle. That would have made this end a lot quicker. Well, <laughs> I'll be. You guys are friends with the great and powerful gnome. Uh, 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 you know, uh, I'm sorry for being so uh, rude earlier. <laughs> uh, here, uh, you can have the nitromite on the house. Oh, all right. Everyone can learn it after the class change. Got it. Here, Nitromite. I'll send you right back to the entrance to Dwarf Tunnel with this magic rope. The magic hemp rope. <laughs> you all take care now. Oh, uh, give my regards to Gnome. Head back to Vom Voyage. Probably gonna wrap up soon because it's almost 3 a.m. Uh, I started a little late too, so I didn't get a full three hours in. Of course, you need to find the elementals before she can learn the spell. Yeah. I knew that. She only has one other locked spell right now, Cyclone. Which we'll probably get fairly soon. <laughs> it's like crap on my hand. Like, leather. I don't know where that's coming from. Mana, yeah. Okay. Or mana. mana. Nitro, whatever. Let's go back to Von Voyages. We have to stop Altina as soon as possible. Yeah, the game the game refers to it as mana. I don't necessarily agree with it. I think it's mana, but whatever. Hard to get turned. It's really easy to get turned around in this game. Just tearing through them like butter now. And again, I have the game on hard difficulty, so I'm not I'm not making this easy on me. I'm doing this as hard as I could possibly can. Your next. 
All oh, right, the class changes also depend which versions, because there's light and a dark class change. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. About three years almost? I played Sega Nintendo 3 on my first stream anniversary. Which was in 2017. So yeah, almost three years. Spectre Eye. Spells all enemy magic effects. Oh, cool. Key items, Nitromite. Cannon fuel that packs a punch. That's a bomb with the letter N on it. It's an N bomb! Oh my god! Fucking. It's, that's not funny, <laughs> but. I'm laughing at it just for the, for the sake of the fact that it exists. Uh, alright, what am I learning next? Uh, get, um... I learned Quick Heal. Retain? Yeah, I'll get Retain. Uh, we're gonna go for Diamond Shards next, so we'll put that there. Reduce the amount of CH gauge, CS gauge when using Clash Strike. So I only use 90% for a move. That's cool. Does, does everyone have that? Spirit. Spirit. No. Oh, she has another thing in Spirit now. Oh, wait. Or no, she always had four. Because she Holy Bolt was added. Oh, I see. Whenever a spell is there, it's at the same level of something else. So Cyclone I get with Luck. Diamond Shards. Well, Diamond Shards is its own thing. That's weird. Spell Guard. That's probably very useful for her. I should unlock that. EXP increases by 10% temporarily. What do I have on my ring here, anyway? Candy, Chocolate, Honey Elixir, Fairy Walnut. Okay. Medical Herb. Star dispels all ally magical effects. Interesting. Hop of Wishes, Magic Rope, Switches Time to Day or Night. I guess that's useful, but whatever. Also, I'm gonna change their strategies here. Target, uh... Nearby enemies, range enemies, other enemies. Well, actually, that's only him. Oh, well, they all kind of have other enemies on. That's why they weren't helping me. You can't change that on the fly, though. You can't pull this menu up during battle, so... On the attack, on the attack, balanced attack. I'm gonna put the clash strikes on, uh on max. There's really no reason, though, to hold back on those. And her, I'm gonna put her MP. Uh, well, no. I'll put it to 25. Everyone will be at minimal healing. I don't know if same enemy is worth it. Let's change him to nearby. No. Ugh. 
I'll set him... You know what? No. I'll set them to other enemies. And I'll set her to same enemy. Just because they can take out enemies easily. He's the only one that doesn't have a, a, a thing at this point. Back to this dude again. Or not, he was in the house. Whoops. Hmm? Who are you people? What? Hey, you sent us off to get Nitromite and then forgot about us? What gives? Oh, right! I didn't forget. I just couldn't remember. That's the same thing. So, um, what's that nitromite for again? How do you not know this? <laughs> I'm kidding. I remember now. It's for my revamped cannon, right? Excellent. The Mark III? Excellent. Head to the backyard, and I'll meet you there. Wait, was I in the middle of an attack and it just played out afterwards? That's weird. Oh my god, Duran. Duran Duran. Focus. I can finally see if Kevin lands on his feet. He changed the name again. Windshear, check. Targeting, check. Uh, locked on to Volsena. Ready? I mean, we're as ready as we're gonna be. Yes! They kept- they kept it. They kept the animation in. I'm probably I'm gonna stop once I hit the next statue or whatever. Well, he's certainly on his feet compared to the other two. Oh wait, isn't this the area with like the up and down? Yeah, the whole field. Yeah, I'm not doing this tonight. Got a grin and bear it. Fine. Wait a minute, but hold on a second. The Hero King, I'm filing a complaint about this path. The swore I saw those things just like pop out of existence. Or pop into existence. Eh, no, never mind. I mean, they do a pretty good job of the rendering distance, even if it's not the best uh, best quality overall. Oh god, we got moles and porcupines and shit. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna double save just for safety. I am going to, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call it here because it's after three, and uh, I was gonna stop. I'm almost seven minutes short of three hours I'm anyway. Um, I will be back with more of this soon, maybe tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. 
Um, this is gonna be my focus till I beat it, aside from, like, Animal Crossing on Saturdays. Uh, I don't know how long this game is gonna take me. I know there's post-game in this, which there wasn't in the original, uh, Seiken Setsu 3. There's, like, a whole new class change and everything, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of stuff. I'm only doing one playthrough right now. The second playthrough will probably be, like, a year from now, if I do it on stream. Uh, and we'll see what happens. I got plenty of stuff planned to stream after this, so... Uh, you know, if you're interested, I'll, I'll be here. <laughs> Alright. Y'all have a great evening. Uh, I'm getting a- I have quite a few people here, so do I want to host anyone? Uh... No, not really. Everyone that's playing right now has like 8 million viewers. <laughs> compared to my, my 6. But hey, whatever. Thanks for coming, everyone. I appreciate it. I will see you all around, and have a good night!